I recently purchased N-Channel JFETs on eBay, marketed as J201 and labeled as J201, but when I got them, they didn't appear to function as N-Channel JFETs. Blue tack and a spool of solder. Great whiteboard stand. Brass wool soldering iron tip cleaner. Great meter stand, because otherwise this is what you see. When I wanted to test this J201 N-channel JFET, I looked it up and the pinouts left to right should be drain source gate. And so if I short gate to source to open this channel and then probe resistance from source to drain, I should see maximum couple hundred ohms. I'll just use a wire to short gate to source. And now resistance from source to drain, four and a half megs, which kind of looks like a closed channel, but it should be open. Now if I reverse the polarity of those leads, I get no conductivity. If you measure resistance drain to source or source to drain polarity wise, this should not matter. So, okay, well what if for some reason the pinouts are different? Let's keep the wire on the gate and instead of source, let's move it to drain. Who knows? And now measure resistance from those outside pins to the center pin. Five and a half megs. And nothing with reverse polarity. The first two pins now are shorted. So the resistance from those two left pins to the far right. All I'm getting in any of these cases is an open circuit one polarity and four to five megs the other polarity. I'll go into diode check mode and I'll test these PN junctions from gate to drain, gate to source. Positive probe on the gate P-type material for forward bias and diode check to drain, open circuit, source. I get a diode drop forward biased from gate to source but nothing gate to drain. So that's weird. This is supposed to be a common channel. I'm getting a diode drop here, but not here. Well, so far, it looks like between pins two and three, I have a diode in this orientation. If I go to pin three still with the positive and check pin one, that's an open circuit. Okay, so now negative on pin two for a cathode against positive on pin one, we have another diode. So this looks like P, N, P, anode, cathode, anode. And now the forward voltage is 0 0.678, 0 0.676, this PN junction has a slightly higher forward voltage. So this looks like emitter base collector PNP. Let's see what's happening. I'll take this mystery transistor, put it in this component tester. The pinouts are gonna be number one, two, three from left to right. So I have this J201 in the tester. Let's see what it says. It found a PNP transistor with a beta 324 emitter base collector pin one, two, three, left to right, which is what we determined from the multimeter in diode check mode. So in the end, I guess I got myself a bunch of PNP general purpose transistors and I can use them around the workbench, but for anything important, either because the circuit is critical, it's gonna be used for something important, or even for a customer facing product or something. You definitely, in that case, want to be purchasing parts from a reputable supplier. In the meantime, when you buy cheap stuff on eBay, as long as you're aware that it may not be what you expect, and even if it does appear to work, it still might have been set aside in production as a lower grade tested version of the part, so you may get it, it may look like what it's supposed to be, but it has poor specs and you may or may not be able to test for that. Buyer beware, and just use a little common sense and use the parts responsibly.